Tron's TRC20 network offers cheaper fees compared to Ethereum, and there is the highest supply of USDT on this network compared to any other blockchain. However, you can add this network to your MetaMask wallet, and here's the reason why. The TRC20 network uses the Tron virtual machine, and it is built using the Java programming language. This is different from an EVM compatible network, which uses the Ethereum virtual machine and the Solidity programming language. The TRC20 network also has a different address format. These deposit addresses start with the prefix T, while an EVM compatible network address starts with the prefix OX. MetaMask only allows you to add EVM compatible networks to your wallet. This means that you can't add the TRC20 network to MetaMask. Let's say that you are trying to withdraw USDT via the TRC20 network. If you paste your MetaMask deposit address on a centralized exchange like Binance or KuCoin, you may notice that the option to send it via the TRC20 network is disabled. You can only send USDT to an EVM compatible network like Ethereum or the BNB Smart Chain. The only way that a TRC20 asset can exist on MetaMask is the Binance Pack TRX token. This token exists on the BNB Smart Chain and is packed to the actual TRX token on the TRC20 network. Since you can't use MetaMask, here are some other wallets that support the TRC20 network. The more popular ones will include Exodus or Trust Wallet. When you are sending your assets to these wallets, don't forget to select the TRC20 deposit address that starts with the prefix T. A token like USDT can exist on multiple networks within these two wallets. It is important that you choose the correct address, otherwise your funds may be lost. Other wallets that support the TRC20 network include SafePal, TronLink, and Atomic Wallet. Which of these wallets do you use to store your assets on the TRC20 network? Let me know in the comments below. And check out this video here where I go through how you can create a TRC20 wallet for USDT tokens.